Good morning, friends. How is everybody today? Say something. Slow mode is on. I'm saying something, but no one's here for 11 seconds in. Good morning. How's everybody today? I need a little chapstick. Hey, we have Anixia. Hey, Miss Hey, Dean. Howdy, hey. Good morning. Like a light bulb says hi, frog thing says hi. How are you guys doing today? Little Lisa says what's up. Emerald just edits says hey. Hey. How are you guys doing this morning? How is everyone? Tell me a story. Mickey says hi. Hello. She says hello. It is Friday. Mixie says got my coffee. It is much needed. Yes, I heard about that. <laughs> JS Artiste says hi. Lucky Lime says good morning. Okay, that's a cute name, Lucky Lime. Hello says hello. Hello, hello. How are you guys today? How are we? How are we? How are we? <laughs> Bethany is here. Ringers are wrong. We have some mods in the chat. Kit says they're good. Good. Salt and spices says hi. Hello. What kind of spices? Pumpkin spices? Oh, Emma's here. Emma, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Emma. Guys, we have the um, best mods on the planet. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go there. Carolina says first live. Oh, well, welcome. I'm happy you're here. We are. Pavlina says hello, like a light bulb is doing good. Nixia says today is the goat. <laughs> <laughs> Bethany says Red Bull and Ritalin in hand. That's, that's the way to go this morning. Oh, Emma says you're welcome. We really appreciate you, Emma. You have no idea. All of you. But a special shout out to Emma for taking care of business. Joy Joeable says good morning from Georgia. Alex good says, morning. Hello. Mickey says hi guys. How are you? Hope you are good. We are doing good, thank you. We are. We are very good. I have two cups of the Berries um, Master Blend this morning. Crying Chrome says good morning. I got my Dunkin' and I'm ready. Yeah. <laughs> oh, games and movies. You are not late. We are just starting. Welcome, welcome. Anger Issue says, I'm back. Also, happy Veterans Day. That's right. Today is Veterans Day. Happy Veterans Day, everybody. Yeah. Potato says, yay, I finally am not late. <laughs> Frank wants to know, says, hey, Scott, how's it going? It's going good. Thank you. Um, Adrian says, hi, from India. And Pavlina says, hi, from Greece. Hello. And says, good night. And Petrie says, hello. And Deke says, good morning. And Jamie Brown says, good morning, SBC friends. Happy Friday. Hey, Indeed. Jamie. Wanna, um, Wanna Girl says, morning. Good uh, morning. The True Croc says, hi. Um, behind You says, hi. Hello. Um, let's see. Wow, it's go, starting to go. Um, Dion, hi. Just saw this stream as I just finished crying my eyes out to re-watching. What did you rewatch? Now I need to see what you rewatched. Oh, Mamma Mia too. Oh, I know. These movies kill me. Hello from Chile, that small plant. Hello, I'm so happy to be here for the stream. That's a chaotic duck. Valentina says good morning from Italy. Good morning. Um, let's see. Lula says good morning and happy Friday. Happy Friday. Who's an artist that inspires you, honey? Uh, Alphonse Mucha, Drew Struzan, John Buscema. J.C. Liondecker, N.C. Wyeth. Um, yeah, let's see. Yep. Thank you, Nixia. Battleworks is here and says, good morning, Scott and Donna. How are you two doing today? Good morning. I'm yeah, doing okay. Good. I'm not 100% thrilled with this drawing, but um, uh -oh. we'll see if I can fix it in the painting. Good evening from the Middle East. That's invisible person. Good evening. Um, Rada says hi. This is my first time. Welcome. Anonymous Rada says hey Scott. And Isana says hi. I love your artwork. Thank you very much. Um, 
Sophia, I don't understand your question. It's Sophia Balai. I don't understand your question. Can you give me a little more info? <laughs> Emma says, got a new headset so I can hear you in both ears, LOL. Well, yay, Emma. How's your morning going, honey? They want to know. Uh, so far, so good. Like I said, I'm, I'm, the likeness, I think I lost it. And so I'm just trying to find it. Um, getting the likeness right in women is a lot harder because you don't want to put in too many lines, whereas men, you can have their face be all ragged and, and whatever. So it's just a, The more lines you put in, the 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 less it looks like them. So. As he puts in more lines. Yeah, well, you know, this will all get covered. Jamie says I'm actually off on a Friday. Yay! Um, Sinat says I am not good at coloring, and I have colored pencils. Can you give a tip to blend them well? Also, I'm a big fan. Um, you are a reason I got a big motivation of drawing. Oh, thank you. Um, with colored pencils, you just press down harder on them and they, they blend together. They're, they're kind of waxy. I did a couple of videos on it, but you know, if I wanted to blend like purple, I could, you can go over it like this very lightly, but you're still going to see the, the paper behind it. And so what I do is I'll press down very hard to, to make sure that they kind of just smush together and you stop seeing the paper, but colored pencil art, which I did for decades is very hard on your, hands it's hard on your wrists and your you know so that's why i moved to painting we used to have calluses on your fingers from the pressing down with the colored pencils yeah yeah um natty says i love your art style very much it's nice to be able to join you on your streams since i'm usually in class at this time oh fantastic so happy you're here games and movies says good afternoon from croatia good afternoon oh i forgot i still need to order some more i have that that gift card of 25 dollars to blick right I, I got no I have to order more primary magenta. You want me to write that down? Yeah. Okay. Order primary magenta. All right, I'm going to use my my tube squeezer. Oh boy, this is either going to go well or painfully wrong, guys. So, can you guys see it okay? Scott's favorite color is Payne's gray, and his favorite car is Esmeralda. She is a 1967 Mercury Cougar. There she is. Does that have paint on it? What, Esmeralda? Yeah. Yeah. All right, That's... here we go. Oh, why are you doing it? Oh, excuse me. Oh, the painting. Why are you doing it? So you guys could see it. There it goes. Oh, my God. You guys, you see what he does to me? He gives me Ajita every time. I'll just... Well, no, I don't need that much. So I'm not gonna. There'll be a, a couple drops Can you left. Tell everybody what paper you're using right now. They want to know. This is fluid watercolor paper, hot press, six inches by eight inches, 300 GSM. It's a kind of a generic one that I got from um, Plaza Art. This is so cool, such a cute little community. Thank you, Carolina. Thank you. Oh, okay. oh no, Braden says, glad I could catch a stream. We are currently locked in our house due to Hurricane Nicole. I'm so sorry, please stay safe. Is that Florida? Yes, yes, it turned into a hurricane. I don't know where it is now. I we don't need to know, honey. Um, yeah, well, that was good. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, hi from Norway. That's Sid. Hello. Um, big hugs from my little studio. Hope you're doing good. You're doing we well. We are. Thank you. Morning from Ryan. Hello from Kanda. Um, you're the artist that inspires me. Says anger issues. Oh, thank hey, you. Do stuff, girl is here. Hi. You do Long stuff. Time no see. Um, we're doing good this morning. Teenage Emo says, good morning from France. Good Happy morning. Happy Veterans Day to you, Harmony. Gentle Creeper says, good morning, Scott. 
that I believe in you, the ugly face video just comforts me. Oh. So that means a lot to me, Love from Singapore. Oh, thank you. Um, hi from Jamaica, that's Gabs. Kermit says good morning from Cyprus. Good morning. Kermit says your videos always make my day. Hey, Joy's here. She says happy Friday, Savas. Hi, hi, Joy. Hi, Joy. We have friends coming out of the woodwork today. I love this. I love you guys. This is my second to third time watching your stream. You inspired me to get back into drawing this random fandom. Oh, thank you. Oil, crochet, and more. Says, we have snow here. What about you? It's actually raining this morning. I got up at 1 a.m. with my dog, and it, it had just started raining, and it's been coming down since 1 o'clock this morning. Okay, now I'm upset because I put out too much, so I'm trying to fill this up with air. You're not going to try And I'm going to see if I can stuff it back You're in. You're not going to try to stuff paint in the tube. You're not. Let's see here. This is how cheap my husband is. Should you create like a vacuum with it? Yeah, and then squeeze it to try to get it back in. It's not working that great, but let's try again. Afternoon from Poland. Oh, it's Remembrance Day in Canada. Full moon says good morning from New York. This is only my second stream I've been on. Well, we're happy you're here. Dummy Leaf says O M G G G. That's mm -hmm. a lot of G's. What's your favorite animal? Cheetah. Oop, some of it came back out. Who is your favorite character from the Devil Wars Prada? Um, I, I, it's not really my favorite movie or anything like that. Donna watched it more than me. Yeah, I, I think it's a tie between um, Stanley Tucci's character, Nigel, and um, Meryl Streep because she's super iconic. And I, I love Anne Hathaway, so I just Blow dryer. The video on proportions, tell me what it's named again. And I think look up the word like dynamic proportions or something like that or okay. so there you go so yes we do do you have the tombow colorful brush pen set no we do not um fernanda says i love Hannah hathaway too i know she's great isn't she um what's your favorite thing about art favorite thing about art is that's a good question i can create something when there was nothing and i like that um, okay, Potato, there is a website, um, S-S-A-V-A Art, and if you go to the website, there is links to Scott's, all of the social medias, and on the social medias, what you will find is the, um, where's the one that you, Deviant Art, that has his earlier stuff. Hey, Santa's here. Morning, Santa. Hey, Santa. How are you today? What's your favorite piece of art? Uh, maybe my Animal Crackers movie poster. Um, the results of the giveaway have already been shared. If you go to the community page on the YouTube channel, you will find it there. That's a list of everybody. And all the art's already been sent out. How's the uh, Christmas prep coming? Santa. Um, do I do art sometimes? Um, I have an art journal that I'm trying different things in. So I would say yes, occasionally. I don't paint like Scott by any stretch of the imagination, but I do stick people really well. Even better than he does, I would like to venture. You're an expert. I am. Um, okay, so there's a lot of you that are asking about Scott's art supplies. And um, if one of the mods, if you guys could put in a link directly to the art supply page, um, I would appreciate it. Um, the art supplies that Scott uses are there. I cannot, unfortunately, tell each of you in every country where you are what art supplies are available. What I will tell you is um, the page will list everything that Scott has, and you can look at the specific details on those and find out from there, like the paper sizes and, and um, the GSM of the paper and all that kind of good stuff. The only, you're the only reason I still draw and your tips actually have helped my art, which is not saying much. Oh. The big frog. Hey, if you're drawing, you're doing better than me. Yeah. If you keep doing anything, you're going to get better. 
Oh, Aiden says, try using a thin paintbrush to scoop it back in. Yeah, maybe. I, I think I could use some of it. Hi, Aiden. You're off today, huh? I got a little... Uh, too... Too uh, generous with that squeezy thing. You just kept going with the squeezy thing. Mistakes are a part of art. That's what I've learned from you. Says Steve. Yep. Mistakes are my specialty. <laughs> I'm from South Carolina. We're off school today, so I get to watch your stream. It's my first one that I've seen. That's Andrea. Oh, nice. <laughs> Paramore says, I do that all the time with makeup and skincare products. Okay, that's <laughs> actually true. I do that too. I recently bought some really cheap gouache. Any tips? Um, no, play around with them. Have fun. I bought some cheap gouache, or Donna did, um, a while ago from um, Michaels, and it's it's it doesn't work the same way regular gouache does. So if you're having a hard time, just know that cheaper stuff doesn't always work the same. almost Saturday from Australia. That's Naomi. You give me hope I'll be able to paint people. Oh, you totally I'm will. Trying. Oh, that's what Remembrance Day is. Gotcha. Liar's Wag says good morning from Israel. Good morning. God of Stupidity says this is the first live I could catch. Oh, well, welcome. Um, Curti says I love the style of your drawing and when you add the white borderline when you're done with your drawing, chef's kiss. Oh, thank you. Yeah, there's no place where you can see all of the paintings without having to scroll. It, it, you're going to have to scroll no matter what. There's too many of them, unfortunately, for you to just be able to see them all on one page. You will be scrolling for days. Hi, Z Artsy. Retro is a new subscriber from Colorado. Welcome. Ash is good morning from Oklahoma. Good morning. Um, we are here for about 90 minutes. We started at 9 a.m., so we'll be here till about 10.30 a.m. Central Time. Um, we do not have a vlogging channel, and yes, I do have a YouTube, um, and the mods can, oh, well, Bethany's already had me on that one, so, um, let's see, you guys are so good, you're so good, I was getting ready to do homeschool work, but then y'all came on, and I'm procrastinating even more, <laughs> <laughs> don't get us in trouble, have you ever been to the UK? We have, but we've only been to London and right around London, like Westminster and, I mean, um, the Windsor. Soho. Mm -hmm. Well, that's in London. Have you ever used pencil shavings to color? I have never done that. Huh. Interesting. No. It'd be good color. That's true. Um, Do we know what color Meryl Streep's eyes are? They look a little green. Earth without art is just a. Eh. This is very true. What's your favorite thing to draw or paint? Mine personally is plants or flowers. That's for y'all. I like hair. Mm -hmm. Scott, what's your favorite thing to sketch? Um, whatever's in front of me. I'm going with green. What is your favorite thing to draw in the whole world? Hair. Um, oh, Mar's here. Hi, Mar. Hey, Mar. This is Happy Friday, Scott and Donna. What's your favorite geography biome to paint and why? I don't know what the, what the biome. <coughs> he doesn't really like to paint outside. He likes to paint people better. And when he does paint outside, he paints like a scene. He wouldn't paint a specific like, like a, a specific type of geography or any kind of topography. How do you use the Lego perspective idea you use with faces? Jasmine would like to know. Good um, I've never done it with faces. This is so funny. Oh, Obama Prism says, you like acrylic? Now that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> there are several videos on how Scott paints um, skin texture in the Art Hacks playlist. Blow dryer. <laughs> Art gal and stuff in Massachusetts. 
Gosh. Um, well, definitely be in the thousands. I don't know, maybe 10,000 or so. He's done so many art pieces. Would you like to try spill art someday? I don't think so. Only I'll leave Don that. is not in the room. It's yeah. too much chaos. Not on purpose, definitely. Oh, Santa says, very good. Just finished a video for Kellogg's. The elves are working hard, and I'm just about to upload on YouTube. Oh, that's wonderful. Yay! Cool. I have to go check it out. Hey, guys, go check out um, Santa's YouTube channel. He's got some cool stuff coming up as we move forward with the holiday season, I will just say. I watched Animal Crackers again today, and it made me draw a little picture of Owen and Zoe with watercolor pencils. Oh, so cute. Cool. Thanks for putting the supply list in, you guys. Appreciate that. Alfie says, good afternoon, Scott Dunn from the United Kingdom. Good afternoon. Tea time. If the devil wore a brand of clothing that wasn't Prada, what brand would it be? Versace. Hi, Scott. I'm new to the art world, and I'm very excited to see someone who has amazing skills and a passion for art. My name is Tabitha, and I'm 11, and I'm struggling with proportions and faces. Any tips? Um. Yeah. Well, first of all, hello. And second of all, I would say um, copy photos. Don't try to do it out of your head. And and if you're still having problems, then trace it until you can get it right. That's how you learn is from studying um, from real life. Okay. So friends, I've got a couple of requests for you. This is for me personally. Um, so I would like you to go subscribe to Santa's YouTube channel. I would like you to subscribe to our friend who's on here. His name is Gooey, G-O-O-H-I. He's my little buddy, um, a friend of ours. And then I would like you to click on the links. There are product tags. And if you guys could click on those for us, that would be super helpful. It's a way to help us grow our channel and a way to help us sort of branch out without having to like, you don't have to buy anything. You don't have to do anything. Yeah. You just click the links on the video. Whenever you see, whenever you see our videos in the mm -hmm. bottom left corner, you'll see a product tag. Correct. Just click them. You don't have to do anything else. You can go back yeah. to the video, but all you have to do is just click the tags for us. That just helps us. It's just one click and it's super easy, but it helps us. So that's my little pitch for today on how you can help us out. So we appreciate you. Do you believe we should play Christmas music before or after Thanksgiving? Hmm. I think you can play it all year long if you want to. Yep. If it makes you happy, you do you. What would you say your art style is? Wow, there's a loaded question. Um, my art style is a mix of all the, the artists that I admired, that I grew up wanting to emulate. What is your favorite art supplies out of everything? Um, the black cherry colored pencil. You are so funny with that pencil. My uncle actually owns a car business called Hollywood Hot Rods. That's, funny. That's cool. Mm, your uncle sounds very cool. Does he have a Mercury Cougar? Yeah, does he have a Mercury Cougar? Um, Scott's favorite movie is The Hobbit. No. Oh, I'm Princess, sorry. Bride. Princess Bride. What's your favorite song and artist? And do you listen to Queen? Uh, I do listen to Queen. Uh, my favorite song and artist right now is um, Seal, uh, Future Love Paradise. So a lot of you are asking for tips on certain things. So let me go back again to you. If you go to the Art Hacks playlist, you will find videos on faces and hair and proportions and shapes and so start with the art hacks playlist that will give you a great place to start and then if you have some more specific questions from there let us know um mahidhar says for my art competition i drew octavia and won wow that's <laughs> great it. oh i love that congratulations <laughs> Phoebe says, if you keep doing anything, you're going to get better. Good inspirational quote. Well, yeah. It's true. It's true. Um, yeah, he totally listens to the Beatles. I'm, he doesn't speak any other languages either. I am totally, totally winging it, as I do all the time, but I'm just... You feel like you're extra winging it today? I'm, just, I'm all over the place. Um, Alfie says, good afternoon, Scott and Dawn. I have a question. I have some watercolor pencils and some oil pastels. 
which would you recommend love from the United Kingdom? Well, first of all, love back at you, Alfie. So watercolor pencils mm -hmm. and oil, oil pastels. pastels. Which would you recommend? Um, Don't they do completely different things? Yeah, but I mean, you can do watercolor pencils. You could lay out, you can wet them. You can kind of get your basics down and then you can go over it with the oil pastels pretty nicely if you wanted to. You could try that. Any favorite games or do you not like games at all? Oh, I love games. Um, my favorite game is Zelda Breath of the Wild. I'm currently playing a lot of Overwatch though, Overwatch 2. Um, I'm gonna do a little shout out to Richie with a big hug. And I will also say, please stay safe. Have you ever been? Yes, we have been to the UK. Um, oh, Everything popped up. I had a comment I was gonna read, hold on. Um, Talk about who your favorite artist is. I have many. Um, like I said, Drew Struzan, uh, John Buscema, uh, JC Liondecker. I think there's a, a video on inspirations or, or, or my idols or, or whatnot. Yeah. But um, definitely I have a lot of them and I take a little bit of something from each one and you you can do that by just studying by copying their work take some time if you have an artist that you like take some time from them uh take some time to to study to copy their work and kind of absorb their style into yours that's how that's how art works um do you have a tutorial about how to draw eyes yes he does i do the art hacks playlist this is not gouache. This is acrylic gouache. Yeah. So um, it works. It works like gouache. It's water based. It's matte textured. So it doesn't. It's not shiny like acrylics, but it hardens um, like acrylics to where you it won't lift up when you go over it with water. And it's kind of fun. It's kind of like a fun middle place between acrylics and gouache. Let me blow through a lot of these because boy, oh boy, um, you guys are chatty today. I love it. Um, okay. So yes, um, we, you can share with us on social media, um, your art pieces and tag us, or you can join our discord and you can tag us there in your paintings. Um, have you ever been to Maine? We've not been to Maine, but I want to go to Maine because I want to do the lighthouses. Um, Gabriel sent you a tip. Oh, thank you, Gabriel. Um, I just want to thank you for inspiring me to continue doing watercolors and the idea to change my closet into my makeshift hobbit bowl. Ah, that's okay, great. That sounds fantastic. I love that. Marguerite Mitchell, good morning, by the way, says upgrade your paint to supply one tube at a time. Start with your bigger color. I love that suggestion. Yeah. Um, no, no says you give me hope. I could draw people at some point. You absolutely can. And I believe in you. Sarosha says good evening. Good evening. Um, yeah. The live chat. I'm trying, we're trying to slow it down so that I can answer your questions. Um, our favorite holiday is Christmas. Um, happy birthday to Emmett. Always happy birthday, Emmett. Mr. Sabat and company puts me right where I need to be on this fine Friday morning greetings from Chicago. That's jolly. Oh, nice. Thank you. Um, when did you start your YouTube channel? Um, I, I didn't start officially putting stuff into it until about February, till I started yeah. like really making an effort towards it. I mean, I would post stuff on it from time to time, like my TikToks. Yeah. And our movie stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, we loved Enola Holmes too. It was fantastic. Yeah. I liked it, I think, better than the first one. Yeah, it was great. My biggest problem is when I want to buy art supplies, the price is $1 to six. Yeah, in Brazilian. I'm sorry about that, Tesora. I don't know how we can fix that, but we are trying. We are still working with a company called Grabby um, for a an art set that is a very reasonably priced art set, but we are they are having manufacturing problems, not we, they, um, <clears throat> due to COVID. So um, perhaps a silly question. Scott could do a video on cleanup. I've heard proper palette, brush, paint tube, et cetera. Cleaning is important to keep your supplies lasting longer. <laughs> yeah. 
Mar, I love that you think he would ever do that. Yeah, I, I don't love clean. That you think that. I don't like to spend any time yeah. cleaning up my stuff. But that said, that is a great thing. It is. It is. But I would love to see you do a video on it because you hate cleaning. Uh, we do have a tutorial on how to draw eyes. We are actually doing very well this morning. Thank you, Blood Bandit. Um, and I'm going to go with, for simple teaching, that you like watercolor better than gouache. That's your favorite. Yeah, yeah. Um, talk about the paper palette that you're mixing on right now. Oh, um, I put some Blick ones up on the uh, site, but uh, it is just a, it's, it's basically, it's like a wax paper. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's a tearaway. And the reason he uses that instead of a plastic palette is because you cannot reactivate acrylic wash or acrylic. So once you're done using it, you'll see the ones at the top of the page. He's not even touching. You can't use those again. Um, he's putting a banana on the wall with duct tape art. Yeah. If, if you call it art, it's art. Um, I don't, I don't have to like it, but it is art. Correct. It's very, what is the favorite food that gets you excited? Pizza. Anything chocolate like cake. Um, it is 9 30 a.m. where we are. Oz, um, Oz's sister bought them new pens and they're very excited. Oh, cool. We do have um, a pet. Um, we have a dog. Her name is Arwen. Um, we did watch Mama Mia and I loved it. Um, our son did a play in high school for Mama Mia. Um, Oh, Wolfie, we're trying. We're trying. This is a beautiful drawing. Well, thank you. It's, it's, I'm trying to make it um, in an impressionist or post-impressionist kind of style, but also still look like them. So we'll see. Okay, well, Fizzle My Pickle says one hasn't even finished the face, but it's still better than anything I've ever painted. Oh, you're too kind. Um, Jasmine says, sorry, this is random but I have a CVS chronic sickness and I found finally a medicine that works after 16 years and want to share with my biggest inspirations. So oh, that's wonderful. That so must be so relieving. You. Oh my gosh. I am so happy for you. That is a long time to go with something that doesn't work for you Yeah. and to try to find it. But you know what? Good for you for sticking with it and trying to find something that would help you. I think that's fantastic. You can now kind of you can breathe. breathe. Yeah. yeah. Um, I wish I could show my art to get well artist was there. Um, retro locks. So tag us on social medias. We will not see it if you don't tag us. Um, or you can post in the Discord. Discord. Mm -hmm. They want to know what you're gonna do next. And will you do Princess Bride? Will you do Harry Potter? I have done so much Princess Bride and Harry Potter. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. I don't know if I'm gonna keep doing the um Acrylic wash or go back to watercolor, uh, you know, um, <clears throat> like I said, we shall see. You got a couple people here who, ASC says, I'm new to drawing and proportions are such a pain. I always mess them up when I draw without a photo reference. I would just say use a photo reference. Yeah, yeah. Um, this one's, um, Alfie's a beginner. Um, when it comes to art, what would you recommend drawing for beginners? Um... Draw what you see. Don't don't worry about how good it is. Just keep drawing what you see. Fill up sketchbooks with that. And by doing that, you're going to learn perspective. You're going to learn about light and shadow and proportions and everything else. Just keep drawing what you see. And if you're having you know problems, you can ask very specific questions. You can come on our Discord. Mm -hmm. um, we have a lot of artists there who can help you too. Yeah. If I can't, if I'm not, you know, if I don't see it or I'm not around. But um, that's, that's my biggest thing is, is just to keep drawing what you see. When I was younger, um, I, I would keep drawing my favorite character out of my head. And I didn't get any better as an artist. But when I would draw what I would see, I would get better. I would improve. Brielle is impressed that I pronounced her name right. Oh, Sienna, draw a red panda. My answer to everything is red panda. That's how that's going to go. Um, are there any good cheap purple crayons but like purple purple not purple blue you know what crayola has got a million different kinds of purple yeah. seriously a million different kinds of and, and there are so okay so i have sitting next to my desk upstairs 
literally probably 16 different kinds of crayons. There's like skin colored crayons and mood crayons and confetti crayons and pearlescent crayons. You will find a purple that you like, I promise you, with Crayola. And you know what? I would even go to a Crayola display, open the top of the box and see if you see a, don't take the crayon, but just open the box and see if you see a purple that you like. What do you think of the idea to turn my closet into a makeshift hobbit hole? I love it. Are yeah. You a... That's fantastic. Um, okay, so Toad Frogger, I did not see your comment. I apologize. Um, Aiden asks, how do you know what colors to use as highlights? I see you use blue on the chin. Um, Good question, kiddo. I'm looking at the photo here. I'll show you guys the photo. And you tell me if you see the same things I see. Let me just kind of get some darks in here. <clears throat> Let me stop that. Yes, we are actually live, surprisingly. And they're going to have to look. Okay. So, can you guys see this okay? We can see the photo reference, but right. not the painting. That's fine. Can you Hold see? On. You're not out of focus. Move again. Move something. Do something. No, move again. No, I'm still out of focus. Go back a little bit more. No, maybe we can. This camera is really ticking me off. Okay. Is it in focus now? Yeah, there you go. Okay. And now it is. So Stop can... moving your hand in front. Keeps going out of focus. All right. Can you see what I'm pointing at right now? That part right there? No. Why can you not see what I'm pointing at? Out of the camera. So can I put my finger back in the... Okay. Just not as close to the camera. Okay, see there, there's a little bit of green in there. There's a little bit of green around the eyes, a little bit of blues. You can see some pinks here, some greens down here, some purplish down there. I can't zoom anymore, um, but that's what, I'm, that's what I'm seeing. And what I'm doing is I'm emphasizing it to just kind of give it a bit of a, like, like we said, uh, post-impressionist kind of style, but I'm going to blend it a lot more. Kansas says, I noticed in the reference the hair is white, but the painting is, but in the painting it's purple. Yes. And I'll, I'm going to, I'm going to lighten it up as we go. And that's, that's what I was working on uh, right there was just to, I, what I did was I, I decided I didn't see purple in her hair. It's more of a gray, but to me, gray is just boring because there's just black and white. So I made it more of a purplish blue. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of blue to a little bit of white. And then I'm gonna start bringing in the highlights a little more. So you're taking a little bit of artistic license. Oh yeah, you always have to, because if something is boring, black and white, you know, like gray, just pure gray hair is gonna be so boring. Like there's more yellow in her hair than anything else. Um, but I didn't want it to look like that. So I went with more of a purples. And so that'll be underneath. Okay, Shriyashi, I have your request down. Um, Scott, what's your hardest painting that you've made? <clears throat> Probably the Animal Crackers movie poster. Um, Shadows and Shapes, yep. No, this isn't Hemi gouache. This is acrylic gouache. How do you figure out which person to draw? Good question. Um, that's really hard because you don't want to keep drawing like the same types of people over and over again. You want to, you know, kind of grow and draw different kind of people, different body shapes, different skin colors, et cetera, et cetera. So um, that's always a difficult thing because I'm always looking for something new and looking to try to push myself. But every once in a while, you want to do something familiar and... Um, what piece of art have you made that's unfixable? We have the corner of shame. Yeah. That is unfixable art. There's a video on the corner of shame. If you could meet anyone in the world, dead or alive, who would you meet? Probably Robin Williams. I would want to meet Jane Austen. Um, ASC says your videos made me want to give drawing a shot, and I've been having a lot of fun with it. I feel like a kid again. Oh, I love it. Thank you. It's so cool to watch you draw live and create brilliant pieces. Well, thank you. I don't know if this is going to come out brilliantly, but I never do. So we'll see. 
Um, Phoebe wants to know if there are any exercises to learn about perspective that you recommend. I did a video on it and, um, oops, I just dipped, dipped my hand into the magenta. Um, I, I see, I, I, for me, practice, but um, I look at everything as if they're Legos. I simplify the shapes. Um, Honey, can you change the songs? That same stupid song. Um, is it okay to change your art style? Also, I'm looking for gouache, but don't know a good brand. By the way, amazing drawing. Oh, thank you. Yes, I change my art style all the time. As you can tell, this is much different than my normal stuff. And um, I think it's fun to do. I think the more you do something, the better you're going to get at it. But sometimes you just get bored or sometimes you just want to try something else. <laughs> Shalom Derby Fairy is back and says, my kids are refusing to sleep. LOL. They want to see how the portrait turns out. Oof. My youngest has been so inspired by all the art I've done with your Discord and by all of your paintings. He wants to study. Oh, that's wonderful. I'm sorry. We're making it hard for you to get him to sleep. That's well, here, terrible. blow dryer. Thank you. Four years of watching him draw, it does not get old. Um, have you ever considered doing a painting of yourself or of your wife? I've uh, there's a video on how many times I've painted my wife. So many times, so many. Um, we are looking into different art materials from different countries, um, but the same um, way that you guys have a problem getting materials that we use here, we have a problem getting materials you use that are that say in, you know, um, India or you know anywhere overseas. Sometimes we have problems with that too. Um, did you see the Shadow Hunters series? No, I don't think I have. Art gal, draw a red panda. Anytime y'all ask what to draw, I'm going to say red panda. Are the etcher brushes currently your favorite? They are. I'm using their gouache brushes, which are pretty good. Um, uh, what? Uh, Jasmine wants to know if there's any tips you could give on someone painting a canvas half their height. Wow. Uh, we're going to defer to Bethany. Primer yeah, on that she one. does that. She does the, you know, she's very petite. And she does the canvases that are bigger than her. She has to actually lay them yeah. down to paint. Pretty them. much every canvas is bigger than her. Okay, I was trying to be nice. <laughs> She's not <laughs> wrong, though. <laughs> we love her. The best things come in small packages. Um, Benjamin says, good morning and happy Friday, everyone. Happy Friday. Simply Peachy says, thanks for the art tips. Also, I love the Princess Bride so much. It's one of my favorites. Same. Also, what's your favorite person to draw? Like, who have you drawn over and over? Um, either Gandalf or Snape or, or Wonder Woman. So much Snape. So much Snape. Oh my God. Um, Screen Eureka says I bought the stickers and I love them. Yay! Oh, thank you. We're working on more stickers. I'm scared to use purple on my drawing and I don't know why since Vincent. Mm -hmm. It's trying anything new is always scary. Look, I'm scared every time I do a new painting. Like I'm terrified right now that this is going to be Horrible. Now, I know that at the end of the day, I could just throw it away. That's totally fine. So, um, but I still want to do good art. Everybody wants to do good art, but no one bats a thousand. No one's going to have every single piece they do be something that is something that they're going to like. So once you kind of recognize that, that, oh, well, I guess today's the day I just didn't have it. You know, sometimes that happens. always tell yourself like some days are going to be better than other days yeah. and some days I can salvage it and other days it goes in the corner chamber exactly so right now we're deep in the valley of the ugly phase yeah. and You're I don't know if it's going to yeah I don't know what's going to happen but we'll see you guys get to watch with us we have 45 minutes left um oh do you need to go upstairs okay 
Um, hold on a second. What is a piece of art you have made? Oh, I'm thinking. Well, since I have so much of this magenta. I'm going to use it for the okay, background. For okay. Second. Otherwise, it's just going to dry up and go bad anyhow. So. It's fine. We have a very old lady for a dog. So she's an oldie but a goodie. Okay. Uh, Scott does not speak any other languages. Let's see what we got here. You're helping me resolve crazy art block. That's lightweight. Oh, that's good. Um, let's see. What do you do if you accidentally squeeze too much paint on and don't want to waste it, but you're done painting? Yeah. <laughs> Exhibit A. That's, that's, I try, I tried to get it back into the tube. Yeah. Simply Peachy wants to know, here's a question for Donna. What's the hardest thing about Scott being an artist, not saying it's bad? Uh, the insecurity of, of finances. Yeah, that, that's probably been the hardest part. Um, it, it's never been a, a stable sort of life. Like my parents went to work and my dad wore a suit every day and they did their thing and they came home and they, you know, it was a very, very stable kind of life, but may be married to an artist and you don't, um, okay. It's very out of focus. It doesn't know what to focus on. Yeah. It's just literally, it's completely out of focus. Like put your, there you go. Thank you very much. Whew, Cause it's bad. It's out of focus. It's really bad. Um, but I don't know, you know what, we're partners. And so when he wasn't able to get work, I went and worked, you know, and we worked together and we, you know, it hasn't always been easy, don't get me wrong. Um, but yeah, that's the hardest part. Um, CSR2 says, I've had multiple people advise me to paint backgrounds first. How do you feel about painting backgrounds first versus painting around your finished subject? Good question. Um, painting backgrounds first is always a good thing. Uh, what I What I started to do was, I, when I would do something here, I will show you. This piece, this is a, a print of it. Um, I knew the, I knew I could do the figure fine. So I did the background first because if I didn't like it, I didn't want to have this gorgeous figure and then I couldn't get the background figured out. So I threw it away. So, and I had to redo the background maybe 10, 15 times until I, till I found something that I was like, okay, this is good enough. Um, but the thing is, is so I tend to do the thing, excuse me, the thing that I am least good at. If I know I'm good at the, the characters, then I'll do the background first in situation like this, where there's really no background, it's just a color. Mm -hmm. It's, it's not relevant, but if you're doing something like if you're really good at backgrounds, but not good at characters, I would do the character first because you want to do the thing that you're, the least comfortable with first, because if you mess up, you didn't ruin something that you really liked. Blow dryer. So I'm going to defer to them on how to clean paintbrushes and how to take care of paintbrushes because yeah, don't, Scott does not. Don't come to me. He's not, and, and I'm not being dismissive and I'm not trying to be obnoxious in any way. I'm just saying, you guys, he doesn't clean them. Really, he doesn't. Yeah. You know, um, how did you start doing art? 
Well, my mom was an artist. My uncle was an artist. So I've always had that to um, that encouragement, and I was always around art. Okay, that blow dryer was an auditory flashbang. That is why he screams blow dryer, so you can take out your AirPods or any other things that you need to take off. Um, so that's why he screams that first. It's not just because he wants to scream blow dryer, but we've been doing this a while, so. Um, what paints are you currently using for the painting? These are a Holbein acrylic gouache. What gave you inspiration to do your movie? Oh, um, the book. I wrote a book uh, based on just me and the kids out in the backyard playing. And, uh, and I thought, um, wouldn't it be fun if when you ate a lion cookie, poof, you turned into a lion. And uh, I wrote a book about it. Mm -hmm. And then they spent the rest of the afternoon running around the backyard, roaring like lions. Um, Sam Peachy, the answer to everything is a red panda. Draw a red panda. Scott's favorite animal is a cheetah. Um, Shalom Derby Fairy says, my son, thank you, Uncle Scott, for making the blow dryer softer than before. It helps. Oh. <laughs> YouTube does a good job of that, right? It, they really do. Um, can you do a tutorial on the coloring order, if you know what I mean? I wish I could, but I, if you look at, um, with, okay, with, 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 uh, watercolors, I can, but I, I wouldn't dare to try to give any instruction with acrylic gouache because I'm sitting here figuring this out on my own too. So that, that's all I'm saying is, is that, um, so for watercolor, how would you do it? Light to dark. Light to dark. Yeah. Watercolor. And I, and I have like videos on like for skin tone, like I do, um, the Windsor orange first and then just, you know, so I, it's, it's more like that. But for this, I'm like, I might throw this away. So. Do you choose the color story for your art? Um, I, I base a lot of it off of the photo. Yeah, Shalom Derby Fairy says, Donna, I get you. My husband is a freelancer too, as I am, and we take turns to support each other's dreams that way. He directs and I do script writing. Yeah, and it, and it works well. You know, it's a it's a partnership. Everything you do is a partnership. Yeah. You know, and um, you know, it's funny that you guys ask these questions. And I, I'm sure you guys think that, that, that it's all wine and roses in the hobbit hole. But so I'll give you a small thing. Like sometimes I just get annoyed because I'm the one taking out the trash or I'm the one cooking all the food or I'm the one doing like the day to day stuff slogging through. And the stuff that I do when I do work for our business, I do all of the things, the business stuff, the paperwork, the tax stuff, the shipping stuff. The, I don't do the unfun things. So Scott can focus on the art, which is the stuff that really, but the things he does, the art and hours of making the videos, and like, they take a long time. So somebody has to do the slogging through stuff. And don't get me wrong, I'm pretty good at it at this point. I can do it with my eyes closed. But I don't know, sometimes, you know, you kind of get a little irritated, you know, because you're like, well, I'm just a little honest. irritating. I'm being honest. And I'm <laughs> I do everything around here. You do nothing. You I sit can't. down in the Hobbit hole all day long playing video yeah. games and drawing. I'm done. <laughs> you know, so um, anyway. Blow dryer. You know, life is a give and take, guys. You know, it's it's a give and take. Yeah, well, so, marriage is a partnership. It is, it is. And if you find a good partner, you can, you know, sort of have a little chess game every once in a while, and uh, and it and it's good. But you know, I don't know. In the end, you always remind yourself that you love that person for a reason, and I don't know. It's kind of cute. So, um, our dog is a rescue dog. She's um, 11 years old. She's a, she's an old lady now. She's 11. Um, a lot of people are just want to know, like, what do you do if you mess up with the background? Or what do you do if you mess up with the painting itself? Or well, you know, try to fix things. And you, you try to fix it. Mm -hmm. 
And if it doesn't work, you rip it up and you start over again. It's just paper. You know, I know a lot of you were really kind of hurt when you saw the, um, saw me ripping up that piece in, in yesterday's or was it yesterday's? Yesterday's uh, Stanley Tucci thing. Um, I, I do that a lot. You know, it, it's just paper. You guys have to remember it's, you know, like there's, there's nothing wrong with saying, oh, this didn't work. And then moving on. There's really nothing wrong with it. That has never accidentally drank paint water. Um, he had almost put the paintbrush in his tea. That is correct. I legit thought he was excited about the blow dryer. He's excited about the blow dryer when he gets to drown me out. Uh, what are your artist clothes today? What t-shirt are you wearing? I'm wearing a uh, Kiss Destroyer. Oh, there you go. Uh, and uh, gray sweatpants and tennis shoes because he's standing up. So. We start our live streams at 9 a.m. Central Time, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. What are the things you do to get rid of art block? Good question. There's a video on it, but uh, essentially I look at other people's art. That's, that's the thing that um, always gets me is getting inspired by another artist. Mm -hmm. Museums are a good thing, too. Yeah. Going out in nature is a good thing. We do that a lot. Heck, we used to when we when we were eating inside restaurants. We used to go out and he would draw the inside of the restaurant. Yeah, draw the food that we're eating. The salt and pepper shaker. Yeah. He would draw me writing in my journal and all the other things. Um, let's see. Thank you, Scott. Keep doing what you're doing. And do you have another job? How do you afford all of this? Um, Good question. Yeah, I mean, it's my jobs have been so many different things over the years. I was into video games. I was an author. I was, you know, um, animator. yeah, animator, game designer. game designer. So it, it just depends on what year you catch me. Like right now I am, I'm working on a, a couple of film projects that, you know, for other people that I'm getting paid to help for out hire. with work for hire. Sometimes I get, uh, commissions. Sometimes I get, uh residuals from other projects you know it, it just we never know and that's the part that's really yeah. frustrating is yeah. we don't know where our next check is coming from youtube is becoming a a over the last six months has become a good source of income but you know you just don't know how long that's going to last No, he did not rip up Stanley Tucci, Jamie. No. Ripped up another painting. <laughs> she texted me. I've never up Stanley Tucci. No, no, I, I, I used an old, older yeah, video of me, yeah. one of my lives when, when I didn't like how the painting was coming. I think I was yeah. doing acrylic wash then too. I think so. You get frustrated with certain mediums a little more than others. Yeah. Um, like Tigra says, my husband is my video editor, LOL. He actually gets really annoyed when I pop up more videos than he can edit. Yeah, Scott edits um, all of his own stuff. Um, I'm loving all the colors. I hope I can make my artwork colorful like yours, but for now I cannot comprehend how that style of painting works. It's, it is very difficult and it, not, not in the way like don't try it, but I'm just saying it's very difficult to flip your brain to, to, to do that. They require proof that Stanley Tucci did not get ripped up. You guys oh. are so funny. They want a proof of life, honey. Proof of life. <laughs> oh, God. He has not done a master class. Your wife has such energy. It's honestly admirable. I'm floating on caffeine, people. All right. Here's the Tooch. See? Not ripped up. And Emily here Tucci. is uh, Anne Hathaway and Emily Blunt. I love the honest relationship y'all have and letting all of us come on for the journey. You know, it's funny. Um, we've had so many people on these lives and everything ask us how we've been married for 30 years. And sometimes, and it's really funny to me. It's like we met when we were so young. We were like 18 and 19, right before we turned 19 and 20, literally like a month before we turned 19 and 20. And it's, it's crazy, but it's like, I don't picture myself with anybody else ever. I, mean, well, I imagine that and all the time. Day, don't you? All the time. I know. <laughs> oh, if only. I don't blame you. Um, I know who I am. It's fine. 
Um, <laughs> I love that no matter what is happening, blow dryer, exactly. Um, I don't know, you just make, you either make it work or you don't make it work, you know? And, and, um, but yeah. both, both parties have to <laughs> commit to making it work, you know? It's not like, well, he's not doing this, so I'm not going to do that. It's, Although it's, I have said things. oh, yeah, yeah, but I'm just saying, but it's, it is a matter of leading by example and saying, look, I will do the things that you want me yeah. to do. I will change this about me. I will do this about you. And, and you're not changing who you are as a core person. You're growing. But you're growing and you're being better to, to each other, with each other, and for each other. If taking out the trash makes the other person happy, and if you genuinely love that person, you want to make them happy. So that's really what it comes down to is you do the things because it makes them happy. Mm -hmm. The, where, where relationships fall apart is when one person is doing everything they can to make the other person happy and the other one isn't reciprocating. Yeah, they're just taking, taking. That's, that's where it comes. You know, and, yeah. and it's that selfish mentality that a lot of people get where they're like, well, I did this and I did that. And it's like, but you didn't do the things that make her happy. You did the things that you think you right. should do, or you, do, you know, or you're refusing to change because you're saying, "Well, this is just who I am. I'm just always late." Yep. Well, yes, but I if didn't say that when we were first married, I'd be like, "Well, if you love me, this is just who I am." Yeah, you gotta like, accept me for who I am. But yeah, this yeah. isn't a nice part of you, honey. And, yeah, you know, and I remember you saying that. I'm like, "Well, I just don't understand." Yeah. Why don't you just love this part of me? A lot of times you'll see, you know, it's like, well, you got to take the good with the bad, of course. But if you love that person, you're going to not continue to do the bad things you know you try to you know grow but also but it's also that you say it in, to each other in love and with wanting to help that person become a better person it's not just constantly slinging arrows at each other either you know yeah it's like you've never said things to me that you're like look you know which you know you got to do this this and this and this no it's always like babe i think it would be easier if we did this this way or maybe it would be easier for you if you did this this way and it's it's just a different way of doing it and but you you gotta you gotta put in the effort you guys I mean, yeah that's that's where we are but how do you stop talking to a toxic person you love oh uh, that's hard you know um there's been a lot of that yeah. politics and religion and stuff that happens yeah. in our family. And, you know, yeah. there, are, there are some people who are, there's toxic and there's just people who are misguided. Yeah. And, and that's what I try to remember is sometimes people are just, they've been, they've been fooled. They've been duped or whatever it might be. But then there's toxic people, people who are just always talking about themselves People who always want to be the center of attention. People who are, you know, and oh, I'm and sorry, what me, 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 me. But those people, yeah, I mean, they're probably relatives or something like that. And you just, you at some point, you have to decide what's what's worth your time. You know, you get to decide the people that are in your life. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to move on from the um, couple's therapy. Um, our dog is a Beagle Jack Russell mix, and she's a rescue, and rescues are our favorite. Yes, we have met Stan Lee. Before he passed away, we met him at San Diego Comic-Con. Yeah. Um, and he was lovely and very sweet. He met our boys when they were like two or three. It was very cute. We call him Uncle Stan. We have a picture on the screen. Yeah, if you look at the video of, from last year for our uh, 29th anniversary, I think you'll see a picture of us with him. Our 30th is coming up. Okay, so I saw this meme and it said, I was thinking like 30 years ago, you know, like 1972, but it was really 1992. And I was like, oh my God. And it hit me that 30 years is was 1992 and we got married in 93. So of course, January would be 30. And I'm thinking, oh my God, I'm old. I'm like 53 years old. This is it's crazy. Anyway. Um, I don't know my art style yet. I'm gaining a little interest in sketching these days. Do you have any suggestions? That's Monica. Yeah. If you're looking for a style, try looking at other artists, whether it would be from, um, you know, different generations like the Pre-Raphaelites or, or Art Nouveau or something, and try 
copying that a little bit, the things that you like, and then add that to your current work. And that becomes your style. You, you take a little bit of different artists and you put them together and you kind of make a little milkshake. And that is your art style. Um, do you like the film adaptation from Pride and Prejudice and The Hobbit? Uh, well, from The Hobbit, I thought it was okay. It was two movies too long. Donna can answer for The Pride and Prejudice. Um, I like the 1995, the BBC version. That's my favorite. Um, and I do not like the new Netflix version um, of um, Sense and Sensibility. Was it Sense and Sensibility? Don't ask me. Whatever new Netflix Persuasion? Or... It was Persuasion. Whatever that one was, the most recent one that came out, the list. No. Um, any tips for beginner watercolor artists? Uh, yes, work lights to darks. Um, let's see. Our anniversary is in January. We'll be married 30 years. Um, have you ever tried to sculpt? You did try to sculpt one time, but you didn't really have time to put the effort into it. Yeah, I, there's a lot to learn. There's the different <laughs> materials and all of that stuff. So and there, there's a lot. This is a loaded question. Archer Queen wants to know who you think is the best artist and what do you think is the best artwork? Um, that's, that, that's yeah. I mean, that's, that's, that's very subjective. It's very subjective. Yeah. That's, that's the thing. It is a very subjective thing. My favorite piece of art is um, Spring by Sir Lawrence Alma Tadema. <gasps> yeah. But, but, you know, that might not be your favorite piece. So there is no best. Yeah. I like some pieces from, from uh, Rembrandt, and then I like some Impressionist pieces. Um, I like some Renaissance art. It just depends, you know? Mixie says you do things wanting things in return, do things because you want them to be happy. She's yeah. Wrong. Shalom Derby Fairy says, I think couples must not rehearse his your sister or keep score, start each day on a clean slate and love each other and you every day. Oh, yes, but um, I am, am um, I have my father's, um, I can keep score. Don't for keep a score. Long time. Actually, I don't, I try not to do it with Scott, but everybody who's ever crossed us in business or tried to put a knife in our back got those up top, let me tell you. Mm -hmm. How long did it take you to learn gouache? That's a good question. A year. I painted one painting a day every day for a year. Have you made any digital videos about digital or anime drawing? I did two you on did digital. digital. But nothing um, on anime. I I've done anime a couple times. Um, yeah, but but yeah anime is not really my thing. Yeah. What's your favorite type of painting? Watercolors. Windsor What's and your Newton. Most controversial opinion. My most controversial opinion? I've got a new one. What? I think Starbucks is incredibly overrated and very overpriced. Mm. And this is from a woman who has the Starbucks app on her phone. And I will tell you, I went yesterday on my way home from somewhere and I got a venti sugar cookie latte and it was $7. And I went and I looked at it and I went, why am I paying $7 for something? What? A cup of coffee, like $7 for a cup of coffee. Uh, I think mine would be um, that uh, if I had my choice of being in any universe uh, or, or one or the other, I would pick Star Trek over Star Wars any day. Yeah, see, that's kind of bizarre. It's, um, if you think about it, though, I mean, Star Trek is more of a utopian. They've kind of figured out, you know, they've yeah, ended world true. hunger. They're yeah. exploring space. That's and, true. and, um, Star Wars are always dealing with capitalists and the empire and this and that. And yeah. it's very dark. Oh, Dutch Bros. Oh my God. There's a Dutch Bros by one of my son's college. Oh my God. Dutch Bros is the best coffee. But that's some strong coffee though. Can I just tell you, like you can have one of those and that's going to fuel you for the whole dog on day. Um, if you were an animal, what kind would you be? Um, probably a cheetah. Really want to be a red panda or a sea otter because they are so cute. Um, we are we haven't even started Andor, but our son says it's good. Yeah, Andor just looks very depressing. 
Oh, does it? Yeah, it was you like. I don't want to be depressed. Ugh. Okay, Icon wants to know how to get over art block. I am struggling, and any advice would be appreciated. There is a video on it, um, but essentially, I go and I look at other people's art. Go to a museum or something. Stephanie says, I've been making my own coffee for a base for years because I don't like spending money. You know, I saw actually on TikTok a, um, a video for a syrup. You can make a syrup, like the sugar cookie syrup. And I'm like, you know what? It's funny. Donna says syrup, and I say syrup. What else you and, she, and I say sherbet, and she says sherbet. If you had to be a non-mammal animal, what would you be? Non-mammal animal? I would be a hawk or something like that. I would be a bald eagle. Absolutely. I want to fly. I think that would be so cool. Nick says, I just got a cat and sometimes she meows and sounds like the doorbell. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever played or do you play chess? Um, yeah, I have played chess. and. Um... Wow. Benjamin says, Andor is the best Star Wars since the original trilogy. That's what people are saying. Are they really? Yeah, well, but, Logan says it's great. yeah, but like I said, it's just everything, all of the my artsy fartsy movie, you know, people who make movies and stuff, they're like, oh, it's such a great take on, you know, the, the capitalist, this and this and that. And it's like, it feels like it's got way too many deep layers for me to, but uh, we'll see it eventually. Um, yes, we watched Obi Wan Kenobi. It was okay, yeah. Um, we've seen The Mandalorian, yes. That was okay, too. Um, I said, I, 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 I... What type of paint should people try if they're just starting to paint? I think watercolors or gouache are good. Um, Donna, ever wanted to be an audiobook voice person thing? You have a great voice. Oh, thank you, Letitia. Um, I never thought about it, actually. How did you learn to blend different shades of different colors so well? I haven't. I'm still trying to figure it out, but thank you. When you start a new medium, do you buy a 24 set of colors or would you rather select your own colors? I'd rather select my own colors. That's a good question. Um, your favorite drawing? Um, probably the Animal Crackers movie poster. How do you choose which colors to draw with for a painting? Uh, it is... Uh, largely based off of what I see in the photo. Um, let's see. Um, I am a Navy cadet, also known as a sea cadet in the United Kingdom, and tomorrow from 10 to noon I have to sell poppies outside of the supermarket. Oh. Oh, geez, I'm sorry. Favorite Netflix show slash movie or just show slash movie in general? Um, we liked uh, Enola Holmes. That was so good, you guys. I was really impressed. Yeah. Really impressed. Um, hey, look, I'm not dissing anybody who likes Starbucks. I just was sitting there yesterday asking myself, why am I spending $7 on a cup of coffee? So. Um, okay. Hey, so I think I'm going to touch more oh, of this here has teal. Barney, and did you like it? No, you know, that I was never watched Barney. Yeah, it was past our time and yeah. before the boys' time, really. What's your favorite art supply? Um probably the the um black cherry prismacolor pencil. Scott, have you ever drawn from imagination? Yeah, uh the um uh Inktober, the Oct uh October videos, um all of those were you're all amazing. I need to go home school with the kids. Wow. Have a beautiful day. Good luck. Have some strong caffeine. Yeah, it is convenient. That's why we spend on Starbucks. You're 100% right, Jamie. 100% right. And you know that no matter where you go, you're going to be able to get the same flavor. What's your favorite country to go on vacation and just paint? Good question. Well, we haven't been to too many, but uh, Italy okay. really was uh, amazing. Italy was just breathtaking. Have you thought of painting any of the Enola Holmes movie characters? I did paint last year when the first one, or the year before when the first uh -huh. one came out. And Has it been two years? Since I don't two? remember. Me neither. Huh. Um, let's see. It's interesting reading various comments in the live chats. It is indeed. Um, I will tell 
tell you this much. I like going um, anywhere where there's a beach. I love the beach. Um, so Tana is an extrovert. So that's introvert. I'm an ambivert. So I need a little downtime. Like I'll do the live and um, then I'm done. Like I need to go sit in front of my computer and sort of regroup. That's true, Stephanie, because I can always trust Starbucks to have black tea when I forget mine. That's correct. The tea at Starbucks is very good. I do like the tea actually though better than the coffee, but then I feel stupid getting tea at Starbucks because I'm like, I can make tea at home that's better. So have you tried scrapbooking or junk journaling? Yes, I have done both. Um, Bethany says, doesn't matter what Starbucks costs, I'm not giving up our coffee dates. Okay, okay, settle down. <laughs> What's a country you would like to visit? Scotland. Scotland. Ireland. Greece. Mm -hmm. Oh, we need to go to Prague for the Mooka Museum, um, which, is, which is in the Czech Republic. White Sands Beach or Stormy Cliff Beach? Oh my God, Stormy Cliff Beach, White Sands Beach. I don't know, it's a beach, it doesn't matter. Look, any day on the beach, whether it's raining or sunny or anything is better to me. Like I would go walk on the beach if it was raining with an umbrella. That's how crazy I am. Um, how did you get into art and stuff and how old were you? Um, well, I started drawing when I was about six or seven and, uh, but I really started to take it seriously in high school. <clears throat> um, let's see. I love how in the first episode you weren't too comfortable with the drawing October series and throughout the series you started to love it. Also Octavia watching scary movies was so good. Oh, thank you. Um, not sure if this is appropriate, but do you have any financing tips? Oh, you mean for financing a film? Um, forgot. Do you mean financing a film? Or just finances in general? Yeah. Just wanted to appreciate Donna for reading all comments. Thank you, Susie. Um, our son likes Percy Jackson. That's a really pretty pink. Thank um, you. Why don't you try different countries? Different art style, it's a good video idea. Um, I think we like the second in Old Homes movie better. But just by a little bit. Are you planning to share your sketching progress? Um, what, do you, what do you mean, Saltia? <laughs> Stephanie says, does anyone else feel like Miranda is judging him on a daily basis? Do you think in high school the arts would get you anywhere in life? Or did you think when you were in high school that the art would give you anywhere in life? Um, I don't know. I think really I, you know, you're you're in high school and they're saying, okay, you gotta pick your major in high in college. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna study? And I was only good at art. So um I think from there it was just well, I'd, I'd really like to be the artist on Spider-Man. And so I wasn't really thinking of anything more than just doing that. Um, would you become immortal if given the choice? Absolutely. Um, what does writing journals entail? Well, you need a journal and a pencil or a pen. And thoughts and experiences go out mm -hmm. and do stuff. Mm -hmm. Yep. I loved it when Scott was painting in um, Venice. You know, sometimes you go on a trip and you don't really have time to absorb everything. So when Scott was teaching his classes, I would sit off to the side and I would write all the things I was seeing and feeling about the architecture and the history that was around me. And it was actually really, really, it's a cool way. And, and I, 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 I then come home and I translate that to a travel journal where I write things in and paste them in and I paste like our ticket stubs and other things. And I have a travel journal. And what I'm going to do now is a book for each trip. I've decided that that's really what I like to do. So I bought a book with a winged lion on it in Venice because the winged lion is the symbol of Venice. And so you do that, but I love writing down all of my feelings, everything while I was there. So that's a kind of a cool way to do it. And every I write every day as well. Um, at the end of the day before I go to bed, I kind of do a brain dump, which is kind of nice. All right. Do you think copying artists' drawing is wrong if you don't put it on social media just to know the shapes and shadows? No, no, no. There's nothing wrong with that. Copy another artist's work, um, put, post it on social media and said, I'm copying this artist's work to try to learn from them. Um, artists will be flattered. 
Um, that's how I learned. That's how they learn. They learn by copying their favorite artist. So if anybody gives you any grief, you send them to me. Literally. Um, I don't like milk tea and I don't like bubble tea. Um, I actually just like black tea with nothing in it. I don't even like flavors anymore. Um, how do you choose the person that you want to draw today? Um, usually it's just a mood. Um, they want you to draw Freddie Mercury. Oh, I have many times. Um, what would be the first thing you do if you won the lottery? Um, well, first we have to pay off bills. Yeah, pay off and our bills. College bills for our boys. And then we would help out all of our family and friends. And depending on if it was like a lot of money, then we'd start helping out people, you know, as we, as we see it. You know, what would be great is if we could set up like a, a thing like foundation okay, so now, now we're dreaming like okay so this is like if you won the lottery kind of a situation um but like an art supply type of like a warehouse where we could give art supplies away to people who couldn't afford art supplies yeah i mean yeah that that's great uh, it's just yeah. you know i think our depending on how much that money is right you're no i'm saying if it's a lot of money then really it's not art supplies it's food you know how many people can that's you feed true. Um, shelter, etc. Ooh, ouch. Abdul Rahim wants to know, in your opinion, how good is your wife in the arts? Let's, um, let's have it. She's a better voice actor than I am. Oh, that's true. Scott gets so nervous, even when he's not on camera, when he's behind the microphone. I just love to like ad lib and go for it. And I'm like, blah, 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 blah. yeah, but I'm the chatty one. If you can't tell. So here, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to step away from this. I'm going to stop recording. Um, you know, we're going to be done with the live. And then I'm going to come back to this and I'm going to clean it up a little bit. Um, I just, I think it, it doesn't, it looks kind of like her, but it's missing some flair. And I, and sometimes what I'll do is I'll come back in with some colored pencils to just kind of like draw over it to see what's working and what's not. And that, that'll help me get the shapes better. But I sometimes I think I need to walk away. Here, let me blow dry real quick. Blow dryer. Of the big libraries of the world, mm. all of those beautiful libraries in that one TikTok video. Yeah, I would like to go. To the libraries. Um, you never answered how good I was in art, honey. I did. <laughs> Can you describe both of your fashion styles? Oh my god. Oh. I have no fashion style. Yeah, she's not really. A... I really don't care. I love a nice handbag, though. Honestly. Yeah, me, I like um, I like to look good if I can. It helps me kind of not feel so awkward outside. He really does. If we're going to the grocery store, he will actually try to look nice at the grocery store, whereas I'm the one who's like, I will be in rich sweats, have my hair up on the top of my head in a knot and go, they're going to take my money. It's the grocery store. Yeah. What do I care? So there we go. Scott, which is best, oil or acrylic or watercolor? Um, I like watercolor best, but that's just me personally. Cool. Um, check out Pete Gustin, the blind surfer. He is an amazing voice actor. His story is a documentary as well. Really? Thanks, Marguerite. Put a noise limiter on your stream. Headphone users are suffering from the blow dryer. Um, that's why he screams blow dryer. Yeah, if, if there's a way to put a noise limiter, that's great. Is there? Don't ask about that noise limiter. Let me write that down. Noise limiter. Um, why are you a fan of red noses? Good question. Oh, um, it's in my my art is a mosaic video, but essentially, I my friend Scott Kurtz, who does a web comic called PVP. Um, I saw it with his, and I was like, oh, I like that. And so I 
wanted to see if I can make it work. And I kind of just like it. And I do see a lot of people with red noses. That's just how I see them. Um, what causes are you passionate about? Gosh. Literacy is a big one. Yeah. Human security is a big one. Since we've been doing this live, we really want to see other people be able to have quality art supplies. Autism awareness, mm -hmm. uh, cancer, yeah. LGBTQ, mm -hmm. uh, women's rights. Diabetes. Yeah. I mean, there's, there's a lot of things. If, if money was not an issue and we could, you know. Yeah. The first thing we would do is hunger. Yeah. No one should, no one, no one in this world should ever go hungry. Um, it's the best piece of advice you could give to a young artist. Draw everything every day. Favorite art equipment? Uh, my Prismacolor pencil, Black Cherry. Um, Scott has not had time to paint people's profile pictures. No. Um, what inspires your background colors to use contrasting colors, or you just guess on what colors to use? Um, it's usually some sort of complementary color. Uh, I, I sometimes wanted to pick up a little bit of something in the painting, and then other times I wanted to contrast it. Um, it, it just, it really depends. Does the wood affect the pencil or is it all the red? <clears throat> um, I don't know. I've never thought about it, honestly. I think it's just the kind of pencil that you like. There are also some pencils that people buy because they're eco-friendly. Um, they're done differently. Do you draw in an anime style? Uh, no, not traditionally. No. Um, I have in the past. Benjamin says, my six-year-old even thinks I'm getting better. After I did his request yesterday, he said, that almost looks like what I asked for. Uh, <laughs> oh, God. That's that's funny. I, I love the honesty of children. <coughs> um, can you paint people you admire, or, or do you paint someone that you don't like? I do both. James says, maybe you can make a place where people can come for food and art classes. Yeah, that would be good. Like I said, you're talking, you know, like how much money? If you're talking like a hundred million dollars, then yeah, then you can tackle small stuff. If you're talking a hundred billion dollars, then yeah, you can go after world hunger and cancer and other things like that. This is why I never understood how people like Musk or or Bezos or anybody isn't actively trying to just they could literally make the world a better place, yeah. but and they instead they rather do yeah and and you know you can you can if you were writing a movie you could you know have there be these villainous you know government agencies saying you know look we're trying to you know you can't do these kind of things and we're going to stop you we'll we'll kill you if you try because you know it's the the population and yada yada i don't know but i'm just saying i that's what i would do i would i would try to make the world a better place you you don't you don't need that much money you don't no one needs a billion dollars i'm sorry but there's a difference when you look at the world and you think that you just need more and more and more and more and it's human nature it really is it's human nature to think well if i have this how could, maybe i could have more here you don't know, but, get me wrong. You know, but compassion. I always look at like the next handbag. I'm compassion is also a human nature. You compassion know, compassion is a harder human trait to develop, I believe, than self-preservation and. Yes, but when you when you have literally hundreds of billions of dollars, there's no self-preservation. There's you have, have nothing. Billion, you need of nothing. The people who have a billion look at it and say, "Well, wouldn't I feel more secure if I had two billion? Secure the, I, I, I'm just letting you know that's when you have that much money, it's all about getting more money. It's not about, li it's not like us where you're living day to day or you're living hand to mouth or you're living paycheck to paycheck. It's not like, you know, the normal American people who are working hard for their money. When you have that much money, it's all about more money because what else do you need to do besides accumulate more money? You don't need to do anything. And they don't, I, I think they get to a certain point this is my humble opinion only. Please take this as a my opinion only. I think you get to a certain point and it's all about how much more can I have. I don't think they look at it differently. But then you've got somebody like um, Jeff Bezos' ex-wife, uh, Mackenzie 
can't remember her last name. She's given away when they divorced, she got a huge amount of Amazon stock and she's given away billions yeah. directly to help specific people who, who are food insecure. Yeah. Who have, she's got a group of people, a group of advisors that look for places. But see, that's what I'm saying. So it is, it, she, she was a billionaire. She is one out she, of how many. Uh, I understand that. that but that. what I'm saying so is it's she, not, it's what you're, anomaly. okay. You got to stop talking at some point. It's not the fact that you're saying, I think when you get that much money, you stop, you start thinking of more. She's proof that that's not everybody. But she's the one. I understand that, How but many it's it's. Millionaires don't do that compared to the one person who does. I, I know, but what I'm saying is, is that it's not like. Yeah, Marguerite says, "How many Boeing 747s can you find a day?" Yeah, it's true. Um, okay, we'll move on. We, we skewed. Um, what art supplies are you using right now? I am using acrylic gouache, whole bean acrylic gouache. Um, Sarah Wilson says they're dragons who have constantly increased their hoard because they can. Yeah. It's true. Who's your favorite actor to draw? Um, it was probably the ones that I constantly draw, which is Linda Carter as Wonder Woman, oh, you love Ian McKellen as Gandalf, or Alan Rickman as Snape. Oh boy. Which one is easier, becoming a Disney artist or becoming an anime artist? Anime artist, I would think. Yeah. Well, I mean, artist anime artist, you, I'm assuming... You have to go to Japan to do that, so I don't know. I mean, it's not much anime being done in the states. Right, but you can work like remotely. Uh, we do like cats, but we can't have them because I'm allergic. Um, how long did it take you to grow your channel, or did you have one viral video? Oh no, it took me. I started in February, and then um, it's just been. Just growing it ever since. Oh, yeah. Dolly Parton is the queen that we don't deserve. She's a saint. Yes. Dolly yeah. Parton is amazing. She gives back constantly. And someone else said Keanu Reeves is also very humble. That's true. But you're talking about, you've now listed, there's like three people that we've talked about. Yeah, but they're also not billionaires either. Yeah, but Dolly we were Parton we has a lot of money. And yes. She constantly gives back. But not billions. And what I'm saying is you're talking about billions of dollars and you're going what can you do remember I, the whole thing was i said i said no one question. needs a billion dollars is what i said no, and people never ask that question i did uh, i know you did uh, do you have a gramophone i don't even know what that is no i think santa might the boat is sinking and you can only bring one art material what do you bring my well you can't do anything with one art material. You need paper for your pencil. I disagree. Okay, what would you bring? I would bring a, my fountain pen um, because I would learn how to make paper. I would mash up leaves. I would do whatever I needed to do. And if I could have one art supply, I would bring my fountain pen. Okay. I don't want to learn how to make paper, so I would just have nothing. And go, I'll make paper for you. I would go, hmm, I got nothing. You love me too much. I do. Favorite art equipment. I would like to learn how to make paper. <clears throat> okay, I did say, hey, I'm going to work on this a little more later, you right? Did. You said you're going to noodle it later, but everybody knows you lie. Cats have fun while you're doing everything. Do you need good quality art supplies to make art? And by the way, someone asked if you could make good art with Crayola. Go back to the Van Gogh video about. I've done a crayons. lot of art with with yeah. Crayola stuff, Crayola and yes, crayons, you can. You can make good art with those. Yes. Yeah, it's not as fun, but yes, you can. And Isabella, you need good quality paper. If you look at the Crayola watercolor video that Scott did in the product reviews, you will look at the saturation of the Crayola watercolor. Yeah, look, it's, it's um, beautiful on good quality. Paper. It's Ernie and Bert. Yep. Uh, there you go. Look for that one. Is there one job you'd never, ever do? Yes. I would never be the porta potty cleaning person. <laughs> I would never get into politics. I'd get into politics before I'd clean porta potties. I'm just throwing that out there. What is your advice for painting? Um, try it. Have fun with it. 
Uh, and just remember, it is just a piece of paper. So, what would you think you would do if you couldn't do art, like any form of art? Um, I'm not good enough at video games to make a career of it. So, uh, like you're saying, like no music, no nothing. Um, that's a tough one. Because even writing, I mean, you would not yeah. To me, I see art in everything. So, yeah. like, I couldn't write. I couldn't. Yeah, that, that's a hard one for you, I would think. Um, my little sister loves your bracelet. Oh, thank you. Um, give us watchers advice on painting. Um, gosh. Oh, Brielle drew a red panda. Tag me. Call me. Yeah. Um, we do have pets. We have a dog. She's a rescue dog. She's my little, she's the daughter I did not have. What is your favorite thing to paint besides hair? Um, <clears throat> was that? That was me clearing my throat. Oh, I thought you wanted me to say no, you. No, 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 no. I'm, <clears throat> I'm literally having a little moment here. <clears throat> uh... Surprisingly, um, if it's not people oriented, surprisingly, I do like drawing some buildings when I am traveling. I noticed that you were enjoying that. Yeah. What's um, who's your favorite place to draw? I know you visited Venice and enjoyed it, but what other places? London. Yeah, Paris is beautiful too. Mm -hmm. But again, I haven't mm -hmm. been to too many places to say, you know, like, oh, I've you did some beautiful paintings over in Valencia, Spain, too. <clears throat> some beautiful painting. Who's your favorite actor to draw? Uh, I just said uh, Linda Carter's Wonder Woman. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. Oh, God, he's drawn our dog so many times. It's like me. He's drawn me so many times. He's drawn the dog. He's drawn, you know. Um, Scott likes to paint women with long hair. Is it easy to draw or paint in public? No. No, it's never easy. Um, but He's got headphones for that. Yeah. The painting turned out to be a success. Oh, well, it's getting there. Thank you. This is Holbein acrylic wash, but you'll see Scott's entire art supply list <clears throat> in the um, art supply link in the on the website. Um, let's see. Thanks for your ideas. Margaret is laughing at my porta potty thing. What sub art supplies do you take on a small trip to like outside? Uh, that's in the look up Swiss medic bag mm -hmm. video. Um, there's a video on Scott's Swiss medic bag. That's what he takes when he goes. Literally, he just grabs that and goes out into the wild. Yeah. Sketch. That's yeah, my favorite. Question for you: When you're out sketching and painting somewhere. When you come home, if you run out of something, like if your eraser isn't working or you need a new pencil or whatever, do you restock your bag when you get home? Or do you wait until you go out next time and then do you look at your bag before you go and restock then? Yeah, I'll usually go back and uh, I'll wait because... So when you're getting ready to go out, like if, if you're going to go paint with your friend Tim like you did, yeah. you will open I'll your check bag it. before you leave and you'll check it before you go? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I always look, if I'm going to bring something with me, like my to-go bag or something, I always, if I'm missing something, I always restock when I get home because I know I'm never going to look when I go. I'm always going to want to grab my thing and run. Yeah. I always restock before. Anyway, sorry, that was a little slight, noted, slight uh, diversion. Um, Katrina says Dolly Parton is a good example of someone who could be a billionaire but chooses not to. Yeah. Aloha from Hawaii. I love your art. Thank Just you. Like we love Hawaii. Then one time would totally go. All right, on. blow dryer. Everybody mute. <laughs> Don't have my fountain pen. How am I going to use that? Yeah, this is. 
So is this a married couple conversation slash argument? Love it. Yeah, we do this all the time. You're just, we're taking you over the ride today. Do you make a living as an artist? If so, how did you get started? Um, I have made a living as an artist, but it has been through so many channels and so many twists and turns. And um, it's really a, uh, I've been a, a game designer. I've been an animator. I've been a comic book artist. I've been a comic book writer. Um, you should paint Sylvester Stallone as Rocky. Show him that he signed it. I don't know what you're talking about. There Is was there a question. question? Show it. You should pay, so pay, paint Sylvester Stallone as Rocky. Wait, I can't see. Can you see it on the screen? No, you're just showing his butt. E uh, e. I don't know how to do this. There it is. Scott did paint Sylvester Stallone as Rocky. And he signed the painting for him. when we were yeah, It was really nice. Records. He was very sweet. Okay. You come over to me like... I know, I know, I know. I wasn't I part was of that conversation, me. so... <laughs> Hands and feet. Yeah. See, call me skinny agrees with me. A pen and pencil is all you need. Yep, I could make paper. I'd figure out. Bruce Wayne is the best billionaire. True. Oh, could you take a look at my Briel? Um, oh, I can't. I can't click on it. I'll try after the live. I'll try to click on that. Um, let's see. Making paper is fun. Marguerite's made paper. Oh. Let's see. I've been having trouble painting silk sleeves in watercolor. Do you have any tips? That was person on the internet. Silk sleeves. Oh, um, if it's slightly transparent, like you could see through it a little bit, then I usually paint the skin tone underneath and then come over it with the uh, color. Darlene wants to know, have you ever um, done something artwork related that later you have been ashamed of? No, it's very rare that I'm ashamed of my art. Um, I don't, you know, I mean, I don't really do art that is uh, controversial in any way. But um, no, have no. Have you ever played Gotham Knights, or are you going to? Um, probably not. I, I've, I've, I've tried getting into some of the Batman games, but it wasn't really something that interested me. And a lot of that times, it's just the controls. Good morning. Says hello. Good morning. Hello. Um, let's see. Um, what is your go-to video game, past or present? Um, Overwatch is the go-to one. Um, but uh, I, I miss uh, Legend of Zelda, and I hope to play it again soon. I'm waiting for the new one to come out. You've been in an art gallery before. Uh, I've visited them before. So many art yeah. Oh my goodness. And guys, if our mods are um, asking you to do something or to, to wait until I get to your comment, um, it's not because they're being mean. It's just because I can't read that fast. And Scott gets a little verbose sometimes. So comments will, will populate. So um, if I don't get to them, I will get to them. But please be nice to our mods because they're friends of ours and we love them very much and they're helping me. Um, Brownie wants to know what paper you're using. Uh, I am using hot press watercolor paper. 300 GSM. Um, oh boy. No, Scott's not going to do portraits of me. He has painted me so many times and there's a video on that. You can see them. Um, have you ever collaborated with anyone? If so, who? And have you ever forgotten an art supply while traveling? Uh, yes. Um, there's a video um collaboration with me and just van go and love yourself uh nikki and um i have forgotten stuff from you know when traveling um my favorite art supplies good grief journaling supplies um i love archer and olive notebooks um and i love my fountain pen i stopped bought me a fountain pen for our anniversary last year and i absolutely love this fountain pen i use it all the time and i, I didn't think I was going to love it. I knew I was going to love it, but I didn't think I was going to love it as much as I do. I use it every single day. If I could only write with a mountain pen, I would. It's my favorite thing. All right. Well, it is 1045. 
Cheney says, you decided to noodle on, huh? Yeah. Well, I'm waiting for Donna to, I told her half an hour ago, okay, I think I'm going to do, but. Well, we were answering questions. You never okay. said like, hey, you know, let's. I, I did. Now. Oh, no, you said I think I'm going to do this and blah, blah, blah. So. Anyway. Can I go now? Yes, you can go now. <laughs> Bethany says, I'm a good art person traveling because I travel with 18 extra of everything. Yeah. She is not <clears throat> incorrect. She has to check her bag. That's how much stuff she travels with. I have things with that. Um, okay. Scott doesn't watch anything when he paints. He listens to music or books. Yeah. Um, what are some of your passions other than journaling? Me? Oh, I like to read big time. And um, yeah, I like to read. That's one of my big things right now is reading. I have a few other things. I like to do some crafts, but I haven't done a lot of those recently. Okay. How do you keep your flow without? I don't know what that means, but I'm going to leave that one. Okay. So um, come to Dubai, please. Can you try painting on glass? Um, <clears throat> okay. So we are going to go. I'm going to end the stream now. And since we're behind or late or whatever, and we'll see you guys on Monday. Thank you all. Thanks for being I hope here. you like this. Yeah. Thanks for indulging us on our little rants. We had more than the rants today. So um, we'll see you guys Monday. Thank you. Love you Bye, all. Everybody. Have a great weekend.